Welcome back, dear viewers. We have seen the White Army and how are they in the front lines, giving and giving all the time. We also have one of the best, as well, uh, radiologists, let's say White Army, who are side by side with doctors. No other doctor will really do his job beside them. If he wants to do a good treatment, he needs to call them and he needs their assistance. So today with us here in the studio of Sunshine, we've got this special guest. But first of all, I think an introduction of goodness that is really well with my colleague Sarah. Yes, for sure, Amal. The radiology, also called a diagnostic imaging, is a series of a different tests that take pictures or images of various parts of the body. Many of these tests are unique in that it allows doctor to see what inside the body. A number of different imaging exams can be used to provide this view, including X-ray, MRI, ultrasound, CT scan, and BET scan. The radiologists interpret a broad spectrum of diagnostic tests, including X-rays, ultrasound, bone mineral distometry, fluoroscopy, mammography, nuclear medicine, CT, and MRI. Now, please welcome with us uh, Dr. Majda Azenki. Welcome. To, we are pleased to have you with us here this morning. Thank you, dear. And good morning for everybody. Good morning, doctor. And you are really shining it up. I like that aubergine color you are wearing. You. It's wonderful. And I think you are matching it up with something essential you're going to talk about. Yes. So first of all, doctor, radiology. Mm -hmm. And this is a wide, and I know, uh, definition. Can you just tell us or shed the light on radiology, what it is? Radiology, before, as you know, we know about it, is diagnostic, mm -hmm. as we start with the X-ray. And the X-ray, when there is, you know, uh, anything, we start with the X-ray to know uh, if there is a fracture, if there is, a, uh, you know, uh, obstruction of the abdomen, there is a gases, or, but this is not giving uh, only superficial picture. But get, uh, get to the MRI and CT, you'll take more picture about it. You know more about the, your, your, your disease and you can diagnose. Before we know that, you know, uh, radiology as for only diagnosis. Now we're go, going to the treatment itself. Mm -hmm. we, what we call minimal invasive treatment for the spine and uh, treatment for the vein itself. So we can treat now the disc, we can treat the nerves. We can also, uh, the tumors, if there is also tumors, we can do ablation and decrease the size of the tumor to easy to excise it. Well, this is yeah. really good, Sarah, I yes. think. It's really interesting, doctor, but how can we diagnose the cause of the back or the neck pain? First, you get your patient from your, you know, we have a referral from the surgeon, mm -hmm. uh, either from a MSK or spine surgeon or from neurosurgeon came to me that it is having back pain or uh, neck pain, uh, for example. Yes. But I, uh, you know, I don't depend on the examination of the doctor. Mm -hmm. I, I re-examine them, I take history from them, I do uh, images for them, and I read their images, and I see if it is this disc problem, this is facet problem, this is nerve problem, this is bone problem, this is vertebral problem, or this is muscle problem. Mm -hmm. So this is, I diagnose, then I, plan for them treatment. Yes. They came for me already, they, you know, they don't want to go to the surgery. That's right. So they want, they say, another solution, mm -hmm. which is another solution is the minimal invasive therapy, which is the tre treating of the disc, the nerve, and also the fibrosis after the surgery we can do. Oh, so you are treating uh, personals or uh, patients nowadays. Yes. Uh, doctor, I can see in front of us several gadgets and one yeah. of them is as i said you are matching the the gadgets those aubergine <laughs> yes. ones can you talk to us a little bit about them are they for treatment or diagnosis yeah uh, all for treatment uh -huh. uh, yeah for example we we'll start with that simple needle this is simple needle we can introduce it in the uh, in the disc itself and we can uh, put an ozone which is an o3 in oxygen okay. this is ca causing uh, the disc to decrease shrink the disc size mm -hmm. and look uh, doing that sterilization around the disc itself 
and found this is also decrease the degenerative changes around the disc itself. Uh -huh. so, so I like this, what we call it is ozone. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I have many picture, maybe you have... Uh, yes, the director, now we will put it in on yeah. the two boxes. And you are, will be surprised that disc is decreased in size after ozone. This Whoa. is simple treatment. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, and uh, the other one also? The other one, this is this fix. It uh -huh. is, you know, uh, introduced with a big needle. Mm -hmm. You introduce it and you do ablation you like this. And by do ablation, heat, heat it up, you decrease the size of the disc. Oh. And you burn your entering. This is very nice for burning the entering because if you leave your entering open, this is cause another disc coming out. Oh, so by this the closes it as it comes out of it. Yeah. Mm. We so, can't see it on the, <laughs> so this, this is, is after yeah. the ozone and before. Yeah, uh, you can see the disc before and after the ozone, how it decreased the disc, and yes. this is after another case after the ozone. When it is, uh, I think uh, a player, football player came to me, and he said to me, I, I don't want to have a, uh, a, a surgery. surgery. Yeah. You know, uh, I, he was surprised that it is ozone. This is the second one, I think this is for football player. And uh, so, doctor, if someone came to you with a neck and a, a big neck pain, so yeah. what are the causes and the treatment of it? Okay, in the neck pain, they said, start with muscle spans, most of them, uh -huh. and they have like a migraine headache. And what we will do, uh, we'll do what we call uh, RF ablation. And uh, one, I think another doctor came after a uh, 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 motorcycle accident, and he came to me that he, after surgery, he still have a, a spasm, he cannot, you know, manage it. Okay. So I do a patient for him for I think the medial nerve and this is what C3 and C4 I, th I think so and he's doing fine. And in, uh, yeah. That's so great uh, yes. doctor. And did the procedures really help the patients from complaining from the recurrent neck or back pain after the surgery? Doctor? Yes, yes. Also this what we call this is a uh, catheter introduced inside the epidural space mm -hmm. and this is cleaning up what we call fibrosis. And I have images also there showing how we introduce it inside the uh, epidural space and cleaning up. After the removing the fibrosis, it is mm -hmm. mechanically uh, removing. Other doctors, they use a laser or radio frequency like heat, but I don't like it because it's having complications. This is a nucleoplasty. Another needle, we use it for uh, heating up the disc and, uh, and they have a good result after the disc. Well, this is... And this is the disc fix, this uh -huh. is the one. Oh, so the this is the, the, the aubergine one. Yes. And this is after the disc fix, before and after. You can see this is completely, you cannot see the disc after the disc fix. Yes. Yeah. We can see the uh, results and images on yeah. the uh, screen out there. Uh, Dr. Majda Barak, Zenki radiology consultant, spine and musculoskeletal uh, intervention at Al Razi Hospital. We thank you a lot. And you really gave us some new information. I wouldn't yes. ever knew that in radiology that you can treat as well. Yes, we can treat. We can, you know, also we uh, are planning to work for the malignant tumors and uh, the benign tumor. Now mm -hmm. we do the osteoma in our Razi Hospital ablation and the patient have been good result after. Well, this is really good, Sarah. I think uh, our guest today gave us a lot of information. Thank you very much for being mm -hmm. here with us and we hope to see you more soon and give us more information as well. Inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you very we'll much, back. Doctor. We're looking forward to have you again next time, Inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, dear viewers, we'll have a quick break and we'll come back later.